For the last few years, portable navigation systems have been flying off store shelves. But now that phone-based apps are popular, portable sales have slowed considerably. What this means for consumers is that for about the same price as the most expensive phone-based apps, you can get a budget portable, plus it has a larger screen and comes with a windshield mount. To help you decide which budget portable navigation system is best for you, we tested four that cost under $200. With the Nuvi 1200, Garmin brings years of expertise to the entry-level portable navigation category. We like the two oversized icons, Where To and View Map, that get you ready to roll quickly. Another feature we liked was the Where Am I screen. Just tap the on-screen car icon and you get your location as well as info on the nearest emergency services and gas stations. The Nuvi 1200 also has an innovative eco-route function that lets you check your fuel economy and your carbon footprint. On the downside, it doesn't have lane guidance to help drivers negotiate tricky intersections, and the keyboard interface was somewhat unresponsive. The MotoNav TN20 is Motorola's first foray into portable navigation, and it showed when compared to the more seasoned competitors in this test. For example, it has an overall boxy design, bare bones graphics, and its text-to-speech voice prompts were hard to understand. On the plus side, the TN20 has lane guidance, which is a rarity in this price range. It also includes a route preview mode that simulates your chosen route. At $199, the Magellan Roadmate 1470 is the most expensive unit in the test, but also the clear standout. This is due to its 4.7-inch touchscreen, as well as a long list of features. These include detailed lane guidance, a vast points of interest database, and a user-friendly one-touch mode that makes stored locations such as home just a tap away. But the Roadmate 1470 is the most expensive unit we tested. With its compact form factor, clean graphics and maps, and extensive point of interest database, the TomTom -Tom E certainly lives up to its name. You can choose from a variety of voices for the turn-by-turn -turn prompts, and it had the best pronunciation of any unit we tested. After 300 meters, you have reached your destination. We also like the ability to quickly scale the map using an on-screen slider, but the Ease doesn't have lane guidance, and the volume control is inconveniently buried in a submenu. After 80 yards, turn right. There's never been a better time to buy a budget portable navigation system like the four we tested. For more information on these units and other technology, check out the Car Audio and Electronics Center at Edmunds.com.